This is the dilations tutorial. In geometry, a dilation can be defined as the scale factor that can be solved using the formula k is equal to the distance of a prime to b prime over the distance a b, where points a and b prime are points of the pre-image. Now let me show you what that means in layman's terms. Let's take a look at a graph here. And on this graph, I'm going to draw a figure. I'm going to draw on the figure rectangle ABCD. Now you might also have noticed that I drew in this point here, point X. For the purpose of discussing the dilation and geometry, we're going to use point X as the center of dilation, and I'll show you what that means. When we dilate a figure in geometry, we're either expanding that figure or we're contracting that figure. So this figure ABCD, when under a dilation, is either going to enlarge, expand, or it's going to contract, get smaller. So, in order to do that dilation, what we want to do is draw some lines directly from point X through the vertices A, B, C, and D. So I'll go ahead and draw those lines in now. Here's our first line passing through point A. Here's the next line passing through point C. A third line going through point B and our last line going through point D. Now I'm first going to show you an enlargement of that rectangle ABCD, and then we can talk about a reduction of the rectangle ABCD. Here's what an enlargement would look like. It's called an enlargement because, as you can see, obviously, we've enlarged the rectangle. And to create that enlargement, I've just drawn a rectangle in connecting at these vertices here. So the vertices of this new rectangle are going to be right at the lines that we drew from our center of dilation, x. So you can see a and b that I've pointed at here. Here's c, where that red rectangle now crosses across that line that went through point c. And you'll notice d here. Here's d on our red rectangle hitting that line that passes right through vertice d on our original image. So our pre-image, rectangle ABCD prime, has just been created along those lines of dilation that have originated at the center of dilation. They pass through the vertices of the original figure, so these points A, B, C, and D of the original figure, and we use them to draw in the confines of our enlarged rectangle. Now, if we wanted to draw a reduction, we would just draw a rectangle between the center of dilation x and the original image, rectangle ABCD. And the way that we would draw that reduction is to just draw a rectangle connected to those lines. To draw that reduction, you'll pick a point to start at. So I'm going to start at point A. So I go to the line, this line here that's coming from our center of dilation, so I'll just call that line A. I'll start at line A, anywhere along it between the center of dilation and the original image, rectangle ABCD. So I'm going to choose to start right here. I'm going to start at that point, and you'll notice that for our rectangle ABCD, you can draw a line straight down from A to C here. So I'm going to draw a line straight down from line A to line C. Right there, and you know that's line C because it comes from the center of dilation through vertice C right there. Now on our rectangle you can also go from point A directly across to point B on the top here. So I can draw a line from line A to line B. So here's our line straight across from A to line B. You know that's line B because it passes through point B on our original image. Now I can go from point B down to point D on our rectangle, which means I can go from line B down to line D on our rectangle. And then we can go from point D across the bottom of the original rectangle to point C. So on this new rectangle that we're drawing, we can go from line D across to line C. And when you do that, you can see we have a new rectangle that's in the confines of those lines that we've drawn from the center of dilation. This new rectangle would be a reduction of rectangle ABCD. 
And if you wanted to name it, we could just write in a name here of A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, and D double prime. Now let's say you wanted to find the scale factor of one of these. You would just use this formula from above. K is that scale factor. So let's find the scale factor of the enlargement. K is equal to the distance of A prime to B prime. So we'll just count along these points. That's this distance right here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That distance is 8 over the distance of A to B. So A to B of the original image. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's this length right here. And we know that's 5 units. So we have a scale factor of our enlargement here of 8 over 5. And that'll hold true for every side of the enlarged rectangle. That's rectangle A, B, C, D prime. All right, now let's take a look at how to solve a dilation when only given coordinate points and the scale factor of that dilation. That's the value of k. In this problem, I'd like you to draw the image comprised of the following vertices. A, B, and C under a dilation of negative one-half centered at the origin. So, let's begin by drawing in a graph. Now remember, for the previous problem, we were centered at our dilation of x down in the bottom left hand corner in quadrant 3. For this problem, our dilation is centered at the origin. And we have a dilation scale factor of negative 1 half. So our k value for this problem is negative 1 half. All right, so the first thing we want to do is plot those points, a, b, and c. All right, so point A is at 4, 4, so we'll go 4 to the right of the origin and 4 up and plot a point. B is at 8, 4, so we'll go 8 to the right of the origin and 4 up and plot a point. And C is at 6, 6, so we'll go 6 to the right of the origin and 6 up. Now that we have those three points plotted, we can connect them to form our triangle, triangle ABC. Now, we have a dilation of negative 1 half centered at the origin. So, to find where our new figure is going to be, what I'll go ahead and do is write out our regular points, our original points, over here on the left. A is 4, 4. B is at 8, 4. And C is at 6, 6. Now, we have a dilation of negative 1 half. So what I'm going to do is multiply each of these coordinates by a negative one-half. So we'll start with the x-coordinate of a, which is 4. 4 times a negative one-half is a negative 2. And then we'll do the y-coordinate of point a, which is also 4, so 4 times a negative one-half is negative 2 as well. Then b, x-coordinate, which is 8, times negative one-half is negative 4. Then the y-coordinate, 4, times negative 1 half, is negative 2. And lastly, c's x-coordinate is 6. 6 times a negative 1 half is negative 3. And the other 6 times negative 1 half is another negative 3. Now that we have these three points, that'll be a prime, b prime, and c prime, we'll go ahead and plot them. So a prime is at negative 2, negative 2. So I'll drop a point there. B prime is at negative 4, negative 2, so 4 to the left and 2 down, and I'll drop a point there. And C prime is at negative 3, negative 3, so 3 to the left of the origin and 3 down, and I'll drop a point there. Then I'll connect those points to form our triangle ABC prime. Now you'll notice that triangle ABC prime is both one half the size of ABC and it's inverted from the original image. The original triangle is pointing up, and the new triangle is pointing down. The negative in front of our k value here inverts the image. So if the triangle were pointing left, the new triangle would be pointing right. And if the triangle were pointing right, the new triangle would be pointing left. And the 1 half 
reduces the size of the original triangle to one half its original size. So, if length AB of our original triangle had a length of four units, one, two, three, four, the length of a prime b prime is going to be half of that, or two, and you'll notice that this length is two units. So keep that in mind when you're working with dilations. If there's a negative in front of the scale factor, your image should be inverted from what the original image was. If it's a fraction less than one, so one half is less than one, your new image should be smaller than the original image. If this number is larger than one, your image is going to be an enlargement and it's going to be larger than the original image. Alright, so you may also have noticed that our pre-image, triangle ABC prime, is on the opposite side of our origin here. And a reduction should be between the center of dilation, which in this case is the origin, and the original figure. Unless that dilation is a negative then it's going to be on the opposite side of your center of dilation, so on the opposite side of our origin. So remember, in order to find where your pre-image is going to be, you can draw a line from your center of dilation connecting the points of your original image. So let me draw a line from the origin in this case, which is our center of dilation, to point A. So here's that line from our origin to point A. Now that line also extends in the opposite direction. Now when it does, you'll notice that it also passes through A in our pre-image. Let's do the same for B. We'll draw on a line from our origin, our center of dilation, through point B. Now we'll take that same line and extend it in the opposite direction from the origin. And when we do that, you'll notice that it passes through B prime. Lastly, let's connect our center of dilation line to point C. Now because of where our original triangle is, that original image, it's difficult to see, but that line is laid right there, very similar to where A is. And we'll take that same line and extend it through the opposite direction. When we do that, that line also passes through point C of the pre-image. So you'll notice that our dilation here is now on the opposite side of the origin. It went from this side in quadrant one over to this side in quadrant three. And that just means because of that negative in front of our scale factor, it's gonna be on the other side of our center of dilation. So that's how you do dilations in geometry.